I'm so very excited to be able to introduce my dear friend Alicia from where are you from Alicia? Do you want to tell us what you see? You've got an IMOP t-shirt on. I've got an IMOP t-shirt on because yeah. I am the candidate for the Coogee electorate area okay. in Sydney for IMOP, Informed Medical Options Party. Okay, so tell and us I'm about I'm very, them. very proud, very excited, very blessed to be in this position. And do you feel they hold a genuine solution to the Australian um, issues that we've been No, all not facing? at all. We're just doing it for, a, for, for fun. No, of course. <laughs> I think they hold hold the most genuine um, solutions okay. for these particular issues. They have got everything covered. All so right, give it to us. They've, they've changed their logo, mm -hmm. as you can see my shirt. So we've got a little heart here, and that represents health, environment, AGA, accountability. Accountability, interesting one, oh, right? From considering what's been happening for the last three years. Um, H-E-A-R-T, so Re health, H all right, that's right. We've just got to look it up. Rights, transparency, and then we've also got a B, which is business, business stability. Oh, I think yeah. business stability is so important in this country right. because we're exporting so much and our farmlands aren't being respected as they should and mm. we're not getting enough back here. So one of the other things with the environment that IMOP is actually doing, and I will get to your sort of more medicalized uh, stuff soon. But I do want to really let everyone know that IMOP is not just about that. I'm, IMOP is not just about medical autonomy, freedom. It's also about regenerating the soils, getting okay. rid of the heavy, heavy chemicals that are falling into our oceans, falling into our streams, lakes, and killing our fish and animals and, and wildlife. And this has been an issue for a very long time, since the 50s. And so, so IMOP's got an amazing agriculture team okay. that know exactly about um, alternative sources of farming so they're not using heavy chemicals because these heavy chemicals are going into our soils. Yeah. They're getting into our food, they're getting into our body, yes. they're causing the epigenetics of our body to actually be firing off to cause the cancers and the degenerative diseases. Wow. So I work as a naturopath and I have graduated in 2006, started working straight off the bat then in private practice and I love the idea of healthy nutrition, healthy soils, actually rebuilding our body. Yes. I believe we can live for a very long age very, very happily, but if we are continually eating chemicals, right. when we're having some broccoli and spinach thinking we're doing the right thing, we're actually not. Okay. So I'm ops all about that. Um, that's it's very foundational, isn't it? I mean, that's absolutely essential, and the attack has so much been on the farmers. So it's like yes, first base. The attack has been on the farmers, and first base is covered. If the if our food is right, then our health is going to be okay. And this is dealing with that. Okay, yes. big tick. <laughs> next, next one. Thank you. So now you. So as for the way that the government uh, approached Australia. Um, during COVID, mm -hmm. that is something that is not okay. Many, many businesses failed. Many families split up. There was the domestic violence, the suicide rates, the mental health went through the roof. I'm sorry, I'm passionate no, about this. It's horrendous. It is horrendous. Absolutely and it horrendous. Is, it is like some mass homicide sort of thing. I mean, yeah. I get it. If people are sick, stay at home. I have been enforcing that for my whole career as a naturopath. If I'm sick, mm. I ring everybody up and I say, I'm sorry, I can't come to work today because I'm sick. Yeah. You know, if you're sick, stay at home. Yeah. But don't force people that they can't leave their house when mm. there's nothing wrong. Don't right. force people that they can't exercise, they can't mm. get some sunshine, mm. they can't go to the beach, they can't work in their business. Mm -hmm. You know, don't force people to be crammed into a little house. Mm. Um, with children around that that need socialization yeah, you know so so that will never ever happen again you know under imops values